وجدنا ما تعيون وتيقظات ايضا عيون نامت عيون الخائنين وعين نجمك لا تخون نامت عيون الخائنين وعين We see things every day honestly we do but how much do we do then And that is a question we should ask ourselves. How much do we petition, speak, claim, dua, money, fisabilillah, all these kind of things, right? So we don't, we don't become these bystanders. It's one thing from a, from a perspective of here we are and the ummah is in front of us. It's another thing from a very individualized perspective. Like individuals we see people every day. Like today I was walking and it was freezing. Not on the way here, in the early in the day, although it was freezing. Anyway. <laughs> when, I, when, I was, when I was walking early in the day and I was coming back and I had my gloves and I had my scarf and I had my big coat, right? I was so cold but, it, but I was still quite warm. And here was an old man who was walking along with his like trolley thing and he had no gloves. And I could see his lips were shivering in the cold. So I took off my gloves and I said, you know, would you like to just have my gloves, you know? And he was all shocked, you know, like, and he goes like, why do I want your gloves? Something like that, you know. I said, it's only because your hands are cold, probably, because he goes, no, thank you very much, you know. Now, if I left that go, I know that would, I'd feel bad. I think, well, here is an individual, right? I'm a Muslim. Allah has made me Khalifa on the earth, a vice region on the earth, right? Allah says, ukhrijat linnas, we are the best ummah taken out for nurse, for people, right? To teach them, well, this is the Islamic ethics and ideals, right? If I see you in cold, I would prefer you to myself. That is a Muslim. If I see you hungry, I would prefer you to myself. What's the ayah in the Quran? But the other ayah in the Quran, what is it? When Allah says um, that they feed um, <coughs> on the day of their own hunger, right? They feed another on a day of their own hunger, right? That is what they should translate into my Deborah. But this course, what we're doing about Tazkiyah to nafs, it should not be, well, I'm, you know, I'm improving inside of myself. No, it should make us more proactive in doing good deeds, hasanat for, for, for Allah, doing more good deeds to please our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, so that we don't miss, miss marks. I know we all succumb to laziness, and that is a human thing that we succumb to laziness. But re-remind yourself of the hadith of the Prophet when he, when the person passed by a grave, and the Prophet looked at the grave. What did the Prophet say? He said, "Rakatan khafifa tamma tahkirun wa tanfalun yazidhu ma hada fi amalihi ahabu ilay min baqit dunyakum." Two rakats of prayer that you belittle and you look down upon, and you think this is nafal prayers, right? Tanfalun. They would increase this man in his grave, in his good deeds. They're more beloved to him than what remains of your entire dunya. They're more, if he was in your position, he would not be thinking, you know, should I, should I not? You know, to be or not to be, to be. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know, no, he would know exactly what to do because he knows the qeemah, the value of those two rakats of prayer. I'm not saying we're always like this, right? And sometimes it's easy to speak. But the idea is we should be, we should try and be like that, isn't it? So we put this <coughs> above and before our uh, need for relaxation or our tiredness or whatever it could be, you know? We should reach the, the highest, highest level of things, my dear brother. You know, we were discussing in the car, beautiful hadith, subhanAllah, about forgiveness. You know, we went through that story, remember the story of uh, Abu Bakr, right? And Mustah ibn Wathafa. The idea is you've got to forgive to be forgiven, isn't it? If you want Allah to forgive you, then you forgive others, isn't it? In this hadith, there were two... Nabi Sallam was, was... He was sitting and he, he laughed and then he cried. Or he cried and then he laughed. And then the companions, they said, Mimma tadhaq, Ya Rasulullah, why do you laugh, O Messenger of Allah? And the Prophet, and the Prophet said to him, Rajulan min ummati, I laugh at two men from my nation. I laugh at two men from my ummah between the hands of Allah and the divine accountability, the day of judgment. And one of them says to Allah, Ya Rabbi, Khudli maghlamati min akhi. 
my Lord, take my rights from my brother, my wrongs. He wronged me in dunya, I want to be recompensed now. And Allah says to the other one, أَعْطِ أَخَاقْ مَظْلَمَتِهِ Give your brother his rights. And then uh, he starts giving of his good deeds to the other individual. And then when those good deeds are finished, he says to Allah, uh, the one who is giving says to Allah, Ya Rabbi, ma baqiya min hasanati shay'un There's nothing left I have to give. I can't give anything else because it's all I'm depleted, finished. And then the other one says, فَلْيَحْمِلْ مِنْ أَوْزَالِ Let him carry my sins then. Let him carry my sins. And then the Prophet cried. Then the Prophet cried. And then the Prophet said, إِنَّ ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ That is the day when people will need to carry the sins of other people. Then Allah will say to the one, لِلْطَالِ بِحَقِّهِ For the one who is so concerned about having his rights, Allah will say to him, إِرْفَعْ بَصْرَكَ Raise your eyes and look towards the garden. And then so he raises his eyes or his head and he sees what pleases him of blessings and ni'mah and good things. And, and the man says to Allah, لِمَنْ هَذَا يَا رَبْ Who is this for, my Lord? And Allah says to him, لِمَنْ أَعْطَانِي ثَمَنُهُ For the one who can pay me its price. ثَمَنَ ذَلِكْ and who can pay the price of that, O oh Allah? And Allah says to him, Anta, you can. And then the man says, Bima idan, with what can I pay the price of that, O oh Allah? And Allah says to him, Bi afwika an akhik, by forgiving your brother. And the man says immediately, Fa inni kad afautu an, then I've forgiven him, O oh Allah. And then Allah says to him, Khud bi yali akhik, fa tukulahu al jannah. Then take your brother's hand and take him to paradise. You know, go with him, go with him together, both of you, to paradise.